Wise Wednesday. The future is now. Eradicating this person in the mirror. I know what it is. Peace to the gods. Love, lift, life. We touch into your mind, body, and soul. So, 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 so. What up, what up, what up, my people? Dreamwise here for another one. Your closest friend. The ego is persistent and consistent. It is going to fight, fight, and fight its way to survive. There's no problem with that. It's not trying to hurt you. It's trying to put you in the safest, most rational situation possible. Is trying to protect you. And it's all based on your subconscious programming, your childhood upbringing and experiences. For example, majority of us eat three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our parents felt like that was important for our development and our growth. In schools, they gave us breakfast and lunch as a ritualistic daily routine. Quote, unquote, Doctors and TV programming has us eating three meals a day. Have you drinking milk with your breakfast and shit? But what if you break that feeling of getting up to eat? What if you train your body and mind to eat once a day? You think you're hungry. And initially waking up, you really feel like you're hungry. But we're not. If anything, we're dehydrated and our bodies just need water. But your ego, your mental construct, is going to say you need to eat upon waking up. That's what we've always done. If we don't, we'll die. Our ego is trying to protect us and put us in the most rational, safest situation possible we deem fit for our reality. The object of the game is to get past your logical thinking and get into the spirit. Your subconscious power mind. Just going with a knowing that calls out to you whether it makes logical sense or not. Your spirit isn't working with your human logic. Your spirit is giving you a situation to benefit from whatever your intention is. Either right at that time or later on down the road. But sometimes you need your ego. You got to remind these fools. Your conscious mind is not bad. Sometimes you have to use that so you can move in a world run by intellectual thinking. You're not going to sit there and just say, Spirit told me not to pay my rent for the next three months. Well, if that's the case, you're going to be a homeless spiritual worker out here in the cold. But your spirit will always lead you into adventures and things that will pay off immensely for you in the end. Tap into your knowing and tell your closest friend, we don't have to kick it all the time. Just call me over the phone sometimes, all right? I'm going to be busy at work. Spiritual work, that is. Dream wise. Once again, Wise Wednesday. Wise Wednesday, it go down, it go down, it go down. Man, yeah, the future is now. The future is now, family. Shout out to Bobby Hammett. He used to say that all the time. Uh when he's trying to when he was trying to make the point of eradicating this person in the mirror. 
this person we're identifying with. So we're going to get a little bit deeper and uh, throw her with it today. So we go down. Yeah, man. The future is now. And look, I watched the show. Um, what was that show? Fargo. Fargo. All my family out there that's watching Fargo, y'all let me know. That thing is off the chain. And uh, we seen the last episode, the one that just passed, and they had the big billboard talking about the future is now with the little black boy. And he was looking at it, and he was about to take on a hero's journey. So after that episode, I was like, wow, yeah, that's the topic for Wise Wednesday, because that's how we move. We move with spirit. And when spirit gives you a message like that, ding, it's time to go. What's up, family? What it is, man? What's the deal? Mute connection. EJ Branch, what's up? Osini Gold, Element Queen, Natasha, Trick Elmo. What's good? Glow in progress. Marcus, NFN Shaka. Shine bright. Yeah, what's the deal, Tyree? I'm glad you enjoyed the stuff. The Keeney, what's up? Man, it go down. What's up, Mad Titan? Yes, EJ Branch. Look, hey, listen, family. We just dropped the class. We just dropped our class, the Make Manifest class. This is it. This is it. This is it. We lined it up with the spiritual days. So the lectures will be on December 19th, December 20th, and December 21st. All right, that Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Saturday and Sunday, they have, uh, the time is at one, right? Basically an hour and a half lecture each day where we're giving you the jewels and gems on uh, the subject for that day. So, hey, you need to go sign up for that bitch because this thing is gonna be off the chain. We're about to give a lot of information and a lot of jewels and the nuggets so you can walk into 2021 on the right side of the game right you walk on into 2021 with your mind powered up so i'm gonna have a link in the description and uh yeah it go down you feel me so hey make manifest class and listen man me and the queen been putting together these powerpoints for this class and we're giving out away all the understanding that we came upon in our journey right also the understanding from what we got from panic and khadija and all these teachers right over the years so hey we want this to be uh we made it affordable and we made it perfect so you can take it at your own pace but the live lectures which i want the whole chaos family to be in on because we're gonna have a q a every single day is the jewels so get in where you fit in we also got a reward system once you finish we're going to give you a buy for med chain hey it's a nice chain i'm gonna post it soon don't worry I'm gonna show y'all what it is, but we want the family to finish. So yeah, y'all go check that out. Um, make manifest because yes, it is going down and it's going down. And I'm excited for it because I love when I have the opportunity to uh, you know, really concentrate and focus on the main goal at hand, which is enlivening your being. Okay, because this ain't just make this ain't make manifest a car. This ain't make manifest no damn houses. It's a whole different type of energy that we're dealing with. And then the understanding is uh is kind of what we're talking about today. Eradicating this person in the mirror. So let's get it in, man. Let's get it in. What's up, babe? You on here? Yes, sir. What's up, family? Yes, yes, yes. It go down. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to have that in the link, and let's get this party started. So, yeah, like I was saying, who in here watches Fargo? 
because that show is it, man. That show is it, and it is the bomb.com. Mm-hmm. But anyway, the last episode, the young boy was about to embark on his mission, right? I don't want to spoil the show if you haven't seen it, but go watch it. You know what I'm saying? We started watching it after the Lovecraft Country. And the young guy basically is, you know, and caught up in a whole nother situation. But long story short, at the end of this last episode, he looks at his, he looks at the billboard and it says the future is now. And in that future is now, that's the future is now is just referring to this is it, right? You have to uh, uh, exude who you are in these given moments and, and live on that and trust that. All right. So it was huge. I like that. Yeah. And that's what it is because at yeah. the end of the day, and obviously in the Make Manifest class, we're going to go deeper. But at the end of the day, the problem is the human. Right? Let's get to it. Let's get right to it. The human is the problem. The human is what's getting in your way. What you mean by that dream? I'm talking about eradicating the ego. I'm talking about eradicating this person in the mirror. I'm talking about completely demolishing dream wise. Right. You know, that's interesting because um, I was on YouTube earlier today um, looking at different videos on meditation, like the scientific proof of what meditation can do. And one of the ads, you know, y'all know whenever you go on a video, there's an ad. And one of the ads that came on before the video started was a guy talking about becoming nobody. Yeah. And it was very interesting. And, I'm, and, and you know, usually you skip ads. I ain't trying to hear all of that. But, you know, he started off by just saying everybody's trying to be this, this, you know, false identity. Everybody's trying to really exist in this illusion. And everybody is really, you know, dating and communing and engaging with someone with this with this identity that is not really real oh yeah so the dude is basically going to do a master class on how to become nobody Mm -hmm. and that's the funny thing what was that movie movie mr nobody was that a movie yeah yeah. yeah, that was a that was a deep metaphysical movie that I think I broke down, or I probably mentioned it in something. But um, yeah, that was a huge mo- movie uh, for the family. If y'all haven't seen that, go see it, Mister Nobody. But at the end of the day, is no self. And yeah, we can actually tie in that Mister Nobody because now I remember it was like he was going into wow, that's ba- that's good, babe. I'm glad you said that. That Mr. Nobody, he was going, he had different alter realities, right? So in these different alter realities, he was with different females, right? And, uh, you know, each situation was crazy. There was one where his dad left him, then there was one where his mom left him, and so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, the big picture of the whole, uh, the whole idea of it was none of this stuff doesn't matter because none of it is real. That's why you got to get to the point of no self. And that no self is definitely eradicating the ego. Look, look, we, we crash landed on this earthly plane. Crash landed, trust me. And now all of a sudden we think we're this, this human, right? trying to fit in and, you know, believing in our ego and stuff. Yeah, that's me. I want to be that person. I'm a celebrity. I'm a, you know, whatever. I'm a singer. I'm a rapper, right? All of that stuff. The the ego 
will make you feel like that's your identity. Put it like this, your job and stuff. You know how people answer with their jobs first? Like they really feel like, yeah, that I'm the president of this bank or whatever. You know, they start with that because what they're doing is they're just boasting their ego or or uh, expressing their ego because they don't know nothing about the ego, right? So the biggest idea is we have to let go and let God and release ourselves from this thing we call goals, right? Get to that. Y'all know what I'm talking about, them goals, these human goals, right? Your human goal is not who you are, family. Hey, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, I'm here to break it to you right now. Dreamwise about to break that shit off to you right now. Whatever you think you're going to be in this lifetime or whatever, that is not who you are. Okay. It's deeper than rap. <laughs> hey, speaking of rappers, that's a good point because the rappers are in this ego swing too. Right, because the the young kid just died on some ego shit. Because I think he was uh, I think he was getting in a fight or something over a girl, but they could he could have squashed it like I was telling Will Capru on Sunday service. He could have squashed it right, and just it could have been a fight, but it it turned into he can't lose. You feel me? Like he can't be shown as the loser. So then gunplay gets involved and then all of a sudden, hey, you know, got to come back and box it out again. Now you're going to come back and people are going to be really beating that ass. Hey, I can't make it up. That's just the vibration that you said no, because your ego, you too, too hard, right? Too tough, right? So, hey, it is what it is. So we have to look at this thing that we're calling the human and observe it. That's funny, babe, because we had the conversation. Um, pillow talking, y'all. We were, I don't know if you remember, but like a couple of nights ago, we were just, you know, laying in the bed talking. And um, we talked about how this human experience, like, we come down here knowing what the goal is, what the purpose is, what we're here to do. But because we do it lifetime after lifetime after lifetime, the veil really thickens. Mm -hmm. And so at first when it was okay, it's simple to go back to your greatest greatness. It's simple to get back to your divinity. It's one, two, three, four. But as we continue to reincarnate over and over and over again, we get deeper and deeper and deeper into the illusion into these goals into this um into this reason for existing and we literally forget mm -hmm. we literally forget because we've had so many human experiences that it's like you know we forget what our we forget what the initial point and purpose was and even manifesting you know, on earth and becoming a human being. Facts on facts on. You facts. know what I mean? So that was that that's dope that we even were ha was having that conversation before this concept even came up to talk about. But you know, it's like we're all living in this dream. And when you are unaware of who you are, you're sleepwalking. Or when you are fully invested in your ego. Okay. And we got to, I know, I know you were saying eradicate the ego, eradicate the ego. And we know that it is impossible to eradicate the ego because your ego is how you pay your bills. It's how you decide to eat food. It's your means of survival. So when we're talking about eradicate the ego, what we're actually talking about is shifting what is controlling you or what is guiding you, what is leading you, right? Because most of the time we're leading with our ego. Everything that we do is ego driven. How is this going to make me look? How am I going to this or that? You know what I mean? They do Instead it of the Christian thing. They, you know, they try to spin it with the Christian thing. They say 10% tithes, 
but the 10% is actually the 10% to your human mundane world, the 90% mm. spiritual. Yeah. So it's supposed to be 90% to spirit, 10% yeah. to, you know, this human mundane thing. But go ahead, babe. Keep going. So, um, but no, I just was, you know, when you said what you said, I was just triggered into thinking about that conversation and thinking about how, yeah. you know, yeah. as we grow up, we become, like, this is something that I heard that was so good. It says, when your child is two, three, and four years old, that's who they are. Mm. That's who they're going to be. That's who they really are. But they have all of these different experiences that shape them to, to become somebody that, you know, that you don't know. Mm. And that's the ego. That's out of protection. Mm. And so us, you know, a lot of us, we're walking around here thinking that we like this and we think this and this is our taste. And I like this type of man or this type of woman. I want this kind of house. I like this kind of car. And really, those are not the things that genuinely flow from us, which also makes me th think about Mook, who just came into the room. What's up, Mook? And what we are going to dive in on um, tomorrow, which is about influence, because this influence really shapes our mind. But I ain't going to go too deep into that because we'll talk about it tomorrow. Um, but again, we've become so entranced in this experience lifetime after lifetime after lifetime that that veil has thickened and and we we really think that some of these thoughts that we have some of these beliefs that we have are us yeah so. yeah that's good babe that's good and listen to what tiana just said she said whatever we spend the most time on becomes us naturally that's what was the system was created for, for us humans to carry out these major corporations, same corporations that took over mom and pop stores. Yeah, listen, the media is a big play in this whole thing, right? Because I'm talking about the media as in Instagram, uh, Facebook, all of this stuff, because now they're giving you people to look at, to model, to identify with, and and compare with see this comparison thing is the problem right these motherfucking youtube subscribers and instagram numbers or whatever right is the huge matrix is the illusion you feel me how many friends you got on instagram who's the hottest person now somebody could misconceive that idea and think of themselves as less than, and now their ego is hurt, right? So now they have to climb this mountain of becoming Mr. Instagram or Miss Instagram or whoever, right? By showing a little ass and, you know, doing that catwalk and stuff. Not saying I'll be looking, babe, but you know what I'm saying? I'll be like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> but the funny thing is, is that it don't got to be that. It could be, you know, having to show off your relationship, having to show off your children, having to show off, you know, your business, your car, your, your all of that. You know what I mean? And I don't even want to talk too much into media because, like I said, Mook and I are going to talk about it tomorrow. But what I do want to talk about and I want you to chime in on is how we really be thinking it's so crazy, right? Cause I was talking to one of my clients about this. Somebody I did a consultation with, I was talking to them about this. And sometimes your ego will fight so hard not to change. Mm. Sometimes you will literally think like the way that you think is the way it is right. That is all. That's what it is. And I was trying to explain to her, like, look, you're saying whatever you're saying and feeling whatever you're feeling because that's what you are comfortable with. Mm. Because that's what you are comfortable with. But it does not have to be that. You can choose a different thought. 
you can choose a different perspective. And that shift in perspective will shift your reality. Yep. But a lot of times we believe that the way we think and the way that we feel is what it's supposed to be. Yeah, you got to let it go. You got to literally let it go. Like Bobby said, Bobby saying the future is now. Let that go mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know, what Bobby say? He said, you got to go. Yeah, you supposed to check up on it. But at the same time, who give a, you know, don't put all your eggs in the basket to if that goal doesn't come into fruition, right? If, uh, if uh things don't work out as you as you as it seemed it would or you thought it was gonna be right these goals are what the problem is you know people wanting to be somebody or represent themselves as somebody you know what i'm saying that was the whole reason why i, I never put my face on facebook or this youtube mm. stuff. Mm -hmm. but i was like i you know i had to before I was doing the YouTube, I just was trying to sell some statues, man. I don't be real. Mm. <laughs> I was trying to get mm. things off because, you know, came up with them, hit a little lick on them and all this stuff. Got, you know, make manifest. Hey, you know, we got the class. Go sign up. The link will be in the description. So then I was like, all right, well, uh, let me try this thing. So uh, we tried the talking thing and you know, I, I didn't really want to fall into the trap of becoming some kind of celebrity or some kind of personal uh, teacher for people, right? Because at the end of the day, mm. yeah, y'all might sign up for our Make Manifest lecture, but all we doing is sharing information. You see what I'm saying? Because we are no greater than you and all of this other stuff, right? We We came down here to enjoy the ride. We came down to this earth plane, just like y'all, to enjoy the ride. And I want to be able to express that to y'all in the Make Manifest the best way I can. Mm. So with me not showing my face and stuff, you know, I, I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll be safe and cool from the ego, you know, trying to, you know, trying to be somebody or whatever, right? But my ass still got caught up in the matrix <laughs> with this YouTube stuff, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, and I believe, you know, I think it, it could have been like during this Lovecraft time when I was doing all them Lovecrafts or whatever, or it could have been past before that. But anyway, I had to like literally when I did this five day juice fast and then now we got this future is now symbol I understand hold on maybe I am falling for this dream wise person a little bit right so now I have to step back and look at myself in a vacuum while I'm doing my work and really justify okay hey you have to make sure that you're not getting uh too caught up in the matrix too caught up with the youtube thing too caught up with your goal right too caught up to you know uh sell a class or blah 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 you feel me or be have make people watch your videos you see what i'm saying sell an item so when you step back and start eradicating that person that you believe in Mm -hmm. you are and start really observing that this is for real family y'all gotta understand that's real that talk man you really when you do the when you do the fast i'm telling y'all the best way to get in get it to see it is during these fasts because you'll be yes. like oh wait a minute fuck damn it got me again hold got on me. i was invested in the illusion <laughs> yeah the gotcha bitch right <laughs> so then now you feel me so now your mind, you, you you know, you you can start losing yourself, and and you can start forgetting the bigger picture, which was fuck woke, do work. You feel me? That was your whole mission. Was hey, let's just share information, let's have fun with it, and let's not take ourselves too seriously. 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people take their goals and their uh, things too seriously because it could torpedo into something where you're saying, oh, okay, well, maybe I have something here. But still, that's the matrix. That's the ego. And yeah, we could have something here. But then at the same time, we got to ask ourselves and push back and say, hey, okay, that doesn't matter. You feel me? And yeah, and and you know, and then the whole Sunday service thing and all of that, you know what I mean? So it's it's a it's a huge thing, man. I'm telling you, man, it's it's crazy how this thing goes, man. So yeah. So uh, you are giving some real information here and real vulnerability and truth that people actually really need to hear because this illusion that that you're speaking of, it comes in so many forms. Right. Mm -hmm. Even if you're trying to be the best hairstylist, even if you're trying to be the best, uh, you're trying to be the best tarot reader, you're trying to be the best master decoder. And and we're not saying that there's anything wrong with having with 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 wanting to do that. What we're communicating right now is that you got to keep the main thing, the main thing. Hey, right. Pastor, I'll put I, my code against anybody. What's okay. Up? <laughs> but listen, I had um, I had received a gift. Um, it was a book by Iyanla Van Zant, and it's called uh, "Until Today: Daily Devotions for Spiritual Growth and Peace of Mind." That's what the book is called. And um, I received it as a gift from one of my former volleyball players, and I was like, "Damn, y'all really was listening to me talk." But anyways, I opened it up, and the first page. The first devotional was that I let me actually not oh, I can't run to go get it on flight, run to go get it. But it it read something like I am at peace when I keep the first things first. Mm. And so this identity, this false perception, this image that we want to put forward right? These goals that we want to accomplish, the, the car, the house, the relationship, whatever it is, even this disguise in spirituality, even being, you know, quote unquote, conscious community, you know, when we put those things first, these labels, when we put those things first, we forget about what the main thing is, which is the work. And so I'm going to say this right now, if Dream and I you know, miss a wise Wednesday. It's not that we don't love y'all. It's not that we don't want to talk. It's not that we're, but we're putting the first things first. And so energetically and vibrationally, if the energy, if we are not spiritually pulled to come on and make a video, then that's just what it is. And, and that's a key point that I want y'all to understand because what I recognize is that Mook told me this. Mook said, you can't do anything out of obligation, do everything out of love. Mm -hmm. And when you start doing anything, whether it's be the best teacher, educator, hairstylist, whatever, when you start, you know, wanting to do something consistently over and over and over again, because you feel like you have to, because you feel like if you don't do it, then your livelihood, your this or your that is not going to be, or however people perceive you is not going to be what it needs to be. Then you're doing things out of obligation. Mm -hmm. And that was such, Luke, shout out to you, because that was such a divine word that really resonated in my heart that I've actually been able to share with other people because that's how good it was to me, right? Everything out of love, nothing out of obligation. Because when we do it out of obligation, then the energy is different. And we do things out of obligation because we have this false perception that we have to. If I don't do this, they're going to think this. If I don't have this, people are going to think this. Mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's an illusion and it's ego. So we're just getting back to love. That's all I'm saying. Get back to the love Get back to the love of anything and everything that you do. Oh, Get back to the love for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, and that's the crazy thing because, you know, these videos that I do make, it is vibrating from a love frequency, right? Like mm -hmm. them Lovecraft countries said, you know, I really wanted to 
chop those up, right? Every single one. Y'all go see all my other decodes because mm. I completely eradicated those. Right. Ego speaking, ego speaking. <laughs> <laughs> but no, nah, but for real though, you know, I felt, you know, how you feel this kind of energy. Like when, uh, what was that? What was that? Uh, 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 glass. Mm -hmm. glass after that dropped after I, we watched it it was unbearable for me right. to not mm. give the understand because everybody was seeing the chakra story right but i seen the whole third eye story hypothalamus you know pineal and pituitary so in me seeing that, I had to share with somebody so I can give them the 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 bigger understanding of what uh, the director was trying to do. You see, what I'm saying because it was a whole different thing than just that mundane chakra story that we see him do every single movie. He was doing the third eye thing, and then he even proved it when he showed the pathway to. Uh, he showed the pathway and it was a triangle and I was like, see, Hey, but anyway, I'm getting out of, mm. out of whatever. Um, mm -hmm. This make did that love frequency, right. Mm -hmm. Is, is that is, is that vibration of un, unstoppable. It's like, Oh, you just got to get it off or, you know, you can't sleep. You know what I'm saying? So stuff like that happens. Yeah, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you know, I could be talking to a motherfucking brick wall and still get my rocks off shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. And yeah, you know, we like to, we we uh, love sharing information and giving information and people, you know, love uh, doing that type of thing. But it is a vibration that you, that you must have and that has to resonate of love the love frequency right past the heart chakra man i'm telling you this matrix and the shit and the powers that be is a motherfucking trap boy <laughs> and that's what and exactly what tiana was saying earlier that's what this thing does it's trying to keep you in a fear-based vibration so you can worry and and think about other humans you see what i'm saying and concentrate on what this person doing and what this person had. But then you miss the whole point and you don't even focus back the attention back on you, right? Which is the true God, God is power. Hey, in our Make Manifest class, listen, family, I'm telling you, we're going to go crazy with this thing to give you the understanding of how none of this stuff matters but then at the same time, you can have whatever you want in this illusion and do whatever you want and be who you say you be. You just got to make sure you tap into the right modalities of self. You feel me? So, yeah, man, it's crazy. Yeah, fuck your human legacy, nigga. <laughs> you feel me? Your human legacy is trash. Right? You... And look, that's another thing. I invoked, uh, I invoked uh, Nipsey Hussle, and I invoked them for, you know, motivation and more uh, uh, power for my spiritual work. But then I think at the same time, it was a double-edged sword because Nip probably gave me more motivation to get off in this matrix. You feel me? to 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 uh you know do the whole uh uh entrepreneur thing you know what i'm saying even tougher but mm -hmm. that's that's the trick you see what i'm saying even though shout out to the guy you know rising the power to the god nip because yeah okay cool you want to have all of that you want to be the entrepreneur but you're working backwards you don't have to work uh you don't have to physically do anything you have to spiritually align back with the guy within you so you and your higher self can be in alignment with your true mission. So now if you're supposed to be that hair uh, stylist, then, hey, that's your journey. Look at our hairstylist, Lima, babe. 
Mm-hmm. You know, that's her, that's her, that's her journey. She don't care about nothing else. She does hair and you know, she do, she does her. You can see the goddess in her because that's what she does. And it's all in alignment. Right. 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 So, and she don't do it for nobody else. <laughs> right. And she'll, you know, she, she won't take clients, you know what I'm saying? She has met. So now all of a sudden, Clients are still coming left and right, right? And she's turning down people because she's she's uh, one with herself and she understands that certain people can't penetrate into her vibration. So that, mm-hmm. man, hey, look, that's how it works, man, I'll tell you. So yeah, we got to put this thing in perspective, right? Yo, thankful showers have to be taken every morning or whenever you take a shower. Be thankful for whatever you have. The future is now. Shout out to Bobby Hemmett. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all go see that Fargo episode because that hoe is powerful. Because the little boy, he's about to embark on this journey by himself. Mm -hmm. But the journey is there now. He's right there now. So he's, you know, he's. He he has all everything he needs with him. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. These wants versus these needs. Wants versus these needs, right? You don't uh you you don't need to want for anything, right? In this in as a spiritual being, as a chaos being, right? You sit back, have mindfulness, get into your work, and uh, yeah, and walk and walk in that power. Man, shout out to the family, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Man, That's look, it. make manifest, make manifest. Hold on, man. Let me make sure I put the link up. Wait, hold on. See my ego. Hold on. Hold on, family. I got to show y'all my beautiful PowerPoint before we get out of here because my ego will not let it not happen. You see what I'm saying? You feel me, though? You you feel me? Look at this. (laughs) Hey, you know, I got to put the PowerPoint up somewhere. Let me see. Shout out to the guy, Bobby. Look, this is the scene with the little boy. <laughs> yeah, Looking that's at good. The, thing. the future is now, right? And that's a powerful, powerful scene, powerful thing. And look at this small little home. Now look at these homes, right? <laughs> these homes are, are nut is gone out of there, right? But look, that's what I'm saying about your home, about our home shit. That shit ain't shit. The house we just, we bought this house, fuck this house. You feel me? That shit gonna go like that. You feel me? Because time is time is not uh uh is is not like you you know you you uh these things depreciate and it doesn't even matter at the end of the day because now thousand years from now you're gonna be like oh yeah that that oh I had a land right there did you? Look at Egypt. All them people stole all this Egypt stuff, man. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. Shout out to the family. So, now, look. Hey, one more time. Our Make Manifest class is up December 21st or December 19th, December 20th, and December 21st. An hour and a half lecture. I'm going to be dropping on a whole plethora of uh things for the family so you can turn up in this matrix with the uh symbols imagination gematria uh, a whole lineup that i built that i'm ready to share with the family so we can start getting back to the real right energy energy invocation I'm talking about how to uh, invoke sexually, right? Then day two, my queen is going to tap in and and dive into uh, 
vibration, right? And spirit and all, and the things that you ask that you need that's going to benefit, benefit your journey on a day-to-day basis. So, yeah, man, I'm excited about it, man. I really want to show y'all it, but I'm going to let y'all go to it. Um, so y'all can power up in these now times. So yeah, look for the link in the description. I know it's not there now. I'm gonna probably post it right now and I'm gonna put it in the comments of this thing. You feel me? So it go down. Man, shout out to the family. Shout out to the family, man. And uh, yeah, y'all know. I'm called, look, Make Manifest. We calling them M&Ms. M&M's because it's sweet like that. (laughs) All right, my guy. All right, family. Peace. Y'all have a great evening. Hit us up. Get your consultations. Join Patreon. Join the course. Get your spiritual tools. Do what you need to do to align. Peace out.